Hey guys, it's Yanni here. Today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how to look for cheap flights on Google Flights. So if you're new here, my partner and I are going to be traveling the world full time in 2020. And the only reason that we could afford it is through travel hacking. And I'm not going to go into much detail about travel hacking in this video because I've created a lot of videos about it in my channel, talking all about travel hacking, credit cards, and which ones to sign up for and everything. So I'm Canadian and the biggest loyalty program here in Canada is the Aeroplan. And Aeroplan has this thing that if you travel intercontinentally, you can book for two stopovers, I think 16 layovers, I don't really know, one final destination, and that was before September. September 2019 this year, they changed the whole thing. So instead of having two stopovers, now you're only allowed one stopover, um, but still a great thing if you wanna travel the world. And we strategically picked our stopovers and layovers in every single continent in the world so we can hit those continents and we're in one city in each continent. So with that said, the rest of the flights are not free for us. Technically, we have to pay for them. So we have to pay for them out of pocket. And the way I look for these flights is through Google Flight. I know there's a lot of flight services out there like Kayak, TripAdvisor, Expedia, um, Flight, fr like get GTFO, like I thought it was get the fuck out, but it's literally get the flight out or something i think that's the meaning of it there's a lot of them out there now but my heart still goes back to google flight luckily for us we dedicated a whole year to travel and our dates and time are flexible very flexible and this is very key and very important when looking for cheap flights on Google Flight. However, if you have fixed dates, you can still look for cheap flights available. And in this video, I'll show you how. Okay guys, so first thing you need to do obviously is go to Google and search for Google Flights. So for this example, I'm actually gonna show you the real life examples. So my partner and I are planning to travel in April 2020 from Philippines to Korea. So as you can see, the first thing that I did is I put in Philippines or Manila, and then I typed in Korea. And then I go to the month, and this is when it's important to have flexibility in terms of traveling. See, if you keep on scrolling through the months, you will actually see how much it costs each month. So since we wanna travel in April, as you can see all the prices for the month of April, the cheapest ones are on the 13th, the 20th, 21st so that's one of the easiest way to look for flights on google flight so another way of looking for cheap flights on google is if you don't exactly know where you're going and you just want to go for a vacation but you are willing to go wherever the cheapest ticket is so for this example let's type in toronto as our home base because i'm from toronto and in the word to question mark section we actually are going to leave it blank and for the months we're gonna pick the month and so let's say we want to travel in the month of february 2020 so go to february 2020 pick the week week that you know you're gonna be taking off for example 17 to 29th and click search and then as you can see it, google flight will list all of these cities with prices so through google flight you can literally scroll through the map and see where you want to go to so if you want to go to the latin american countries just scroll down and you'll see all the flights that's available or if you're feeling to go to europe in february 2020 which i don't recommend because it's winter there during that time same as canada but if you still want to go as you can see these are the flight tickets for europe so we have paris we have london is the cheapest currently for 577 dollars so yeah just pick whatever tickles your fancy another way of also looking for flight is if you have flexible dates you just pick the month and the number of weeks that you're going to be gone and then click done and then you'll see and you'll see the list of cities with their prices and obviously the dates are going to vary because you put in flexible dates so it's up to you to figure out which date you want to go to so there you have it you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and it's very informative it's very short and this is the technique that i've been using to look for cheap flights on google flight so thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys